Okay, I'm in. I've got the scan and cut machine turned on and I've got an idea to make a little simple tree decoration. So I'm going to go into patterns. I'm going to come to this last icon here. Now, if you've not got this on your machine, use the fonts and, you know, choose a block font. But I'm going to try this. I'm going to use the letter H. I'm going to take it down to about three inches high. I'm going to say three and set. My idea is that I want to cut one in chipboard and then cover the front and the back in a piece of patterned paper. So I want a piece for the front and a piece for the back. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to the holiday icon, go into this icon here, I'm going to come to the wreath icon, I'm going to take the measurement down, we'll try 1.8 height and say OK, I'm going to choose A and say OK and set and then go back to add and choose the bow and OK and set. And I think they'll do for now. So I'm going to say save and just put it in the machine. What up? And that's it. That's now saved. So now I'm going to go to the top left icon. One of these items down here is selected. So I'm going to hit the three red boxes. I'm going to hit the first box, drag the arrow down and say, OK, OK, and delete and OK, because I just want to work with this one for now in chipboard. And the reason that I've saved the file is so that I don't have to go back and resize all the elements again. So now I'm going to load my mat up with some chipboard and I'm going to cut this. Okay, I've cut my shapes out. What I've done, I've cut two pieces of the chipboard and I've glued them together and they're still drying at the moment just to make it a little bit more substantial. I've cut two pieces of pattern paper, so I'm going to stick them on the front and on the back. I've cut my wreath and now I'm going to cut the bow and I'm cutting it twice and I'm cutting it in some stamping up blushing bride glimmer paper that I've had for years and, and I've only seemed to have used a tiny amount but I don't think I've ever cut it with my scan and cut. So what I'm going to do, I don't recommend you do this but if you've got an old blade you can try it. I'm going to take the blade out of my standard housing by using the back of the spatula where the foamy bit is here. So I'm going to press the blade in there and then lift it off. And then in one of the old plastic cases that the blades come in, I keep one and I've written on it old. And these are just old blades. So I'm going to drop this old blade in here. Put the lid back on, wind it all the way up to 12 and then wind it back down to about 4. I'm going to put that in and send it to cut. I've already done a background scan so I know where my two bows are positioned. I'm just going to go into the settings, I'm going to go up to page 2 and take my cut pressure back up to 2 because I took it down when I was cutting the chipboard. I'm going to say OK and cut. And this mat needs re-sticking, so I've got a bit of washi tape just holding it down just for extra security. So I'm just going to move that and lift this up, still holding on to it to see if it's cut through. 
and it hasn't. So I'm going to take the blade up. and cut it again. One more time because I think it's nearly cut through but not quite. And they've cut through this time so that was one pass on each blade of four, five, and six. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna take this old blade out of here. Put my good one back in. Give it a blow out because obviously I've been cutting glitter card. And then just put that back into the machine and put this old blade back in here. You can see that's cut through cleanly. And there's my little glitter bow. Not sure how well you're going to see that because it's just gone very dark all of a sudden. Just going to squirt a little bit of this glue in the end here because this one's just not quite stuck together. So now it's just a case of assembling it so it's more glue And I find with these things like this, letters and things, if you're trying to line things up, if you just stand them up. So that's how that's looking. Now with this one, because this is white chipboard, I'm not bothering to colour the edges because I'm not bothered about the edges showing as being white on this. It's only a, a tree decoration. And I think actually it looks okay with the you know, the choice of colour paper that I'm using because it's got white in it. So I'm going to do the same thing, stand it up, line it up, and then give it a good press. Obviously, you know, you need to put a weight or something on this and let it sit for 20 minutes or so. But, you know, I'm doing this for the video. So now I've got my little wreath, which I'm thinking can go on here, just hanging off the edge maybe. And I've got my little bows. And my idea was that I was going to stick one flat and then bend the other one. 
so it's got a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to use glue dots for this because I find glue dots are quite strong. Like so. And then this one I'm just going to bend in the middle so that the bow has a bit of dimension. And again, I'm going to put a glue dot on the back pop that on top like so and then this I think is going to sit on here something like this and then punch a hole in and then I'm going to add a bit more decoration. So I might do some faux stitching and I might do something with this. So when I've decorated it up, I'll come back and show it you in more detail. Okay, so I'm just coming back to show you what I've done with it. So I went all around the edges of the letter H using a sponge and some ink not to necessarily distress it but just to give it a little bit more depth i don't know how well it's going to come over on the screen but i went round it in like um, a pink in fact i used blushing bride which was the same color as the glitter paper and then i went round it with a pink felt pen and just did some faux stitching i've added a couple of pink gems in the corners my little green wreath, I went round with a white gel pen, stuck my glitter paper on, and then I punched a hole with my cropper dial, tied some ribbon through it and, and tied it in a knot on the back, so I've got a loop, and then with some more ribbon the same as the loop, I've just made a bow and I've put some glue dots on the back and stuck that onto the bottom. So that is my little tree decoration. And I think it looks quite cute. So I hope you like this project. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.